Hey guys, Subsy Kid here with another tutorial, and this time it's going to be a Cinema 4D tutorial. And I know it's been quite a while, but I've just been busy with like loads of other stuff. But yeah, I'm not going to like blabber on and stuff, so let's get straight into it. So, what I'm going to be showing you is how to do this type of abstract graffiti type of thing. Um, quite a few people asked on how to do it, I mean, it's really quite simple, but I was like. I'll make a tutorial on it anyway, it's like how to just add those little balls which just kind of look cool in a way. But yeah, I'm going to be showing you how to do that. So I've got Cinema 4D open, and what you want to do, let's quickly go to the render settings. And I'm just going to do it 1080p, so 1920 by 1080. And because it's just an image, you can just leave this how it is really. Um, this we can just change to like. PNG and just like save it to the desktop as um, I'll just put tut for tutorial. Uh, multi bars you can just leave anti aliasing put onto best and max level put onto 16 by 16. Um, and then what you want to do, you want to go to effect, ambient occlusion, <coughs> and effect global illumination. And yeah, that's pretty much the render settings done you can just leave these how they are now so you just cross that off and that's our render settings done <coughs> and now let's quickly make some text to uh, MoGraph my text and we see we have some text like this and we can just put it into the middle I'm just going to change this text to subs so here we have subs and now the next part is the font really um, obviously you just choose a cool looking graffiti font and basically you can get millions of fonts on uh, dafont.com uh, like d-a-f-o-n-t dot com and just go into the graffiti section and there are millions of fonts and uh, I'm, I'll use this one which is Ray's one original and yeah it looks kinda cool as you can see so it's like subs and pretty cool graffiti text and we can just like lift this up slightly and basically what we want to do now is just put the depth to a good looking depth so if we just move across we can see the depth I'll put it on like 45 that's pretty good and if we move back to the front and now make sure you have your text how you want it right now because after we do this next step you won't be able to change it well, you will, but it will take ages to change, really. So, basically, what you want to do is click on the mode text. You want to hit C, and basically, what happens is that it makes each letter individual, in like individual, so you can uh, edit them and change them individually. So, basically, what you can do is just drag the four letters and just drag them out of the little group, and we can just delete that. And now you see we have each letter separately like that and we can just like rotate them around and stuff but the problem is is that if we try rotate it and stuff you can see where the anchor point is over here so if we do try to rotate it you can see it rotates on quite a funny axis and that makes it like not as good when you uh, try to like rotate it and like make it look cool so basically the way you change the anchor point is you use this little button here so you can enable the axis modification so you can just change where the axis is now and if we go into the four like like the four perspective views we can this can just like become a bit easier so we click on our s and then hit this uh modification tool we can just drag it into the middle like so and over here we can drag it into the middle over here so basically so it's roughly in the middle and you just have to do these for to all four letters so that's about good enough now if we hit on U oh, if we go back onto S and then if we unclick that and now that's solidly the axis now so now that's been set now if we go to the U and then click on it again and if we just like put it back into the middle so that's about the middle and just unclick it and it's all done do the same for the B whoops make sure to click on that first and I'll just go roughly in the middle I'm just doing this roughly you can take a bit more time when you're doing it of course 
because I don't want this tutorial to hang on too long really so just enable the access modification go into the middle and that's pretty good so we can go back into our perspective view you just zoom out now you see all of the anchor points are in the middle of the letters which makes it a lot better when you um, rotate it around and stuff so basically the next step which makes it all look good is um, the like rotating it and modifying the positions of them so say if you click on the S and you just get the rotation tool you can like change the rotation slightly so make it like that and of course just get the U and I'll just bring it forward a bit and like I might even take it back a bit make sure that the letters don't overlap because it looks kind of dodgy when they overlap so um just gonna mess around with them so that's pretty good so and now for the B I'm gonna move it across a bit and rotate it out just like muck around with the rotations and just find what looks best for you really like it always looks different with different fonts and like different everything really like different fonts different like what's written it sometimes looks different so we can just and you just muck around and just have some fun with it really I'll maybe move this one forward that looks a bit dodgy let's and nearly done I'm not gonna spend too long obviously it's like you would spend much longer really um, because you want it to look good and that's about alright it's not really too good right now but it will do so basically what you want to do now is if you see here you have like these little fillets here uh, like basically you just use a fillet cap and I'll quickly show you how to do that and it makes it look a little bit cooler so basically what you do is um, you select all of them, like just select all four letters and hit Control C and Control V, so you get like one next to all of them. So you just basically have a duplicate of them, and basically go into the caps and put on a fillet cap. And what you do is you just turn around the tad and just drag it back slightly, just until you can see the other layer of text. So about so there I would say and that looks pretty cool like that you get a little nice fillet thing maybe if you select all of them again you can make it like even smaller like so and if you want you can do it again really so I'm actually just gonna quickly put them back a bit more because it doesn't look too good when it's just a really small part so like that and now what you do you just select the ones you create like recreated and you just control C and control V them again um, go into the caps and make the radius about seven I would say and you just move them back again so go over and move it back again maybe you can change the cap to about 8 for all of them so make sure that they're all 8 like that and if we go back and look at it it looks pretty cool I think the way it's filleted and now what we have to do now is just materialize it really because as you can see right now it's kind of plain because we have no lighting either um, so what we do is basically just choose a pretty cool color scheme so I chose a white and then a blue and then a, a darker blue so I'll do the same again really so I'll choose a white-ish color and then um, if you go into reflection and don't change the texture uh, to Fresnel like most of the time you usually do but 
just change the brightness to 50 and that looks pretty good and then what you do is make another material and I'm just going to do it a lighter blue so a nice light bluish colour like that and I'm going to go into the refle reflection again and just change it to 50 I'm not going to put on any other textures like that and just make another material and I'll make it a darker blue so like so and I'll do the same with the oop make sure you click on the color tab and then change the color so I'll make it a darker blue like that and then go on to the reflection and change it to 50 not 509 50 okay and now basically if you just select the first four letters and then just drag it onto the front face because those are the first four letters is the front face and then select the second layer of letters and just drag it onto the second layer like that and then if you select the last layer and drag it onto the edge last layer like that and as you can see we have our thing but now what we need is some lighting and the lighting which I recommend to use is a Lightroom like some type of Lightroom setting and I'm just going to select all the S's and move it across a bit because I don't know why it's just like kind of in the way of the U too much okay and basically when it comes to lighting what you want to do is get a Lightroom so I'm just going to merge this Lightroom this circular Lightroom and if I just zoom out a bit you can see it's a like huge light room like that and basically it gives you really nice reflections and stuff and there are loads to download off the internet you can just they're free as well you can just like download loads or you can make one yourself if you want and this one I just downloaded so it's pretty nice as well it gives you a nice background and you just hit render it will take a while because it does a lot of reflections and all and it looks really nice in the end so I'll quickly pause it here and come back when it's done because it's going to take a bit okay so I'm back and it took about like four minutes to render but I don't really care because it gives you really nice quality and it looks like really realistic with all the reflections going everywhere um, and of course you would like take more time doing it it doesn't really look the best right now but yeah if you take your time and really do it it looks really good and if you see I've got these little ball type things <coughs> um, that's not really too hard really what you do is you just make a sphere like that and if you just uh, scale it down and then you just position it into a good looking place where it kinda goes with the letters if you like um, well, basically if you saw it was on like the border of the S and it kinda looked kinda cool so just put it in like where it goes with the flow of the letter really so maybe about there and then what you do is you click on it and hit control C control V and you just uh, reposition it down a bit and you scale it down slightly and then you hit control C and control V and then you just put it slightly down a bit as well like that and then you scale it down even more like that and maybe if I just get all of them and I just move them up like that and basically just position them into a cool looking place kind of like that and basically what you do you just put the same materials on so you can go like that and if you just render out it will look pretty cool and yeah that's about it and say if you like remember it had like on my background it kind of had a kind of vignette on it and basically what I did I just uh, rendered it out put it in After Effects and just added some little color correction like some curves or something 
and yeah that's about it really so thanks for watching guys I hope this helped and if it did don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you want to request some tutorials um, comment below message me or like tweet me like follow me on Twitter and stuff I sometimes post some like updates and special like edit stuff like live streams and stuff so yeah that's about it so thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next tutorial